Hi, how are you today? This is Samuel Ibanda and I'm, I'm your transformational coach. Basically today I want to share about something very, very uh, common. And before we get into uh, today's topic, I want to say thank you for listening to this episode. I've recorded several episodes and if you've not listened to any of them, I want you to visit my podcast and I surely you will be inspired. I also want to welcome you to uh, Business and Career Solutions Hub Africa, an online Facebook group where I share lots of content that is to transform you both in your career, but as well as also um, both it for your businesses. So today I want to speak about aspect of overcoming failure, overcoming the effects of failure. Now, in all of us in life, we fail. And I want to uh, believe that even as you are right now, you failed many times. So think about uh, uh, when you grow up, when you're young, you see yourself uh, starting to work and you, you, you stand up, you fall, you stand up, you fall. So there are many ways we fail in life. It could be in our careers, could be in school. There are those times when we, uh, you would do exams and results come out and you have one of the worst marks in class. But we moved on. Despite the past failures that we've gone through life, we've been able to move on to become who we are. Life is about facing the failures and raising about them because one of the things that I've come to realize with life is that the failures will always come but what matters is not the failures but your ability to raise above the failures. I want to tell you today that it's not only you alone going through whatever you're going through. It could be a failed relationship. I want to tell you myself that I've been there I've been in relationships and I've failed. But I want to tell you that despite that, I also have a successful relationship right now with my wedded wife and we are happy living. If I had given up on love because of the past failures, I don't think I'll be where I am today. The same thing with careers. I want to tell you that many times myself, I've actually applied to several companies and They have not even given me a call to notify me that they have received their application. Some of them have not even responded on email to say we are uh, saying you're not successful. There are many times, even businesses, you start a business today and it fails. Life is about overcoming failure is facing the failure and raising above it so i don't know what about you i don't know what failure you're facing in your life i don't know what your past failures are it could be in academics that you didn't do well like your maybe friends or colleagues it could be in your marriage like i already indicated things are not going right every relationship you get to it fails Even the marriage itself has failed. I want to tell you that as you think about what you're going through, I want to ask you one thing is ask yourself, why did I fail? And why did it actually happen? Because it is this reflection that will really help you understand how you can better yourself, how you can improve Because in most cases, the reason why we fail is because of some mistakes that we could have avoided. Of course, one of the reasons that uh, why uh, people say failures are actually lessons to success is that from failure, failure teaches you that once you do a certain kind of thing some way, it means that you will fail that way. So once you fail, then you know that, okay, that route is actually not right for me so it's the same thing so 
what is that reason why you actually failed at one that one thing if it's uh let's say i'll give an example if it's uh let's say your career maybe you have failed maybe you have been terminated uh, there are people who are terminated from work because of maybe low performance there are people who are terminated from work maybe because of misappropriation of funds if you have failed in that category why do you think you failed you failed because of a b c and d some of the factors would really be maybe because of you some of the factors could be uh, maybe because of other people that have actually made you fail so all this has to be actually reflected on because it is from those uh reasons that you develop a new version of you that you develop and grow to become a better person because failure itself is not an end in itself it is actually a beginning to your greatness i want to tell you that all nearly all the business people that we see successful today started one or two businesses that didn't really make up make it I usually hear about the story of uh, the founder of KFC and one time I was going through Facebook and I actually read a post of one gentleman who was challenging the story of of the KFC founder and this gentleman was saying that we have been told about the story of this gentleman and we have never been told about the failures in businesses that this gentleman went to through I actually got so much interested and even went to search about this gentleman on Google and I was able to get to their Wikipedia page and I was able to realize that this gentleman actually had also failing points. He actually started several businesses that he failed on before he could actually start the KFC brand that we see today. But what you hear is that okay this gentleman uh, after he had retired he was about to commit suicide and he got an idea and started this KFC yes that 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 is right in its own story and of course in the same way even even without hearing the stories of other business that he started you cannot still appreciate that yes he failed to 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 end up retiring with a few dollars but he was able to proceed and succeed to become the brand that we see today So that is how things can be. So you're running a business today and let's say you're selling and things are not working out. You've started up a chicken project and it it didn't work out. You went into uh logistics, transportation and the business didn't work out. You've tried A B C and D and things keep on failing, failing. Yours is to sit down, reflect and see what led to the failure and of course you shouldn't give up but understand that it is progress failure is about is part of your journey to success it's part of the journey it's not a straight journey you rise up fall you rise up fall until when you become stable and get there so whatever we we want to attain in life we must be ready to fail many people are actually afraid to fail and many will not start because they're afraid to fail but i want to tell you things i'll tell you is you cannot you can you cannot dwell with failure like i've indicated we all fail throughout and who we are today is because we were able to raise above our failures so why is it that the failure that you've just undergone or gotten is making you think twice about your life Why do you want to think about giving up on life? Why do you think this is the end of the world? I want to tell you that it's not the end of the world. No matter what has actually really happened, you can raise above your failures. You shouldn't give up this early because the world still needs you. There's a lot that you can actually do. There's a lot of people that are looking forward to benefiting from your dream benefiting from your purpose so i want you to raise up 
want you to believe in yourself. I want you to to be ready to start again. To understand that failure was just a lesson, not a life sentence. No matter what it has been or is, you can raise and become a very better person. So I want to encourage you that you are great. You were born a winner. No matter how many times you failed, you can become successful. The many times you fail are preparing you for where you need to be. So embrace them, learn from them, and rise up to become the person that you want to be. Thank you for listening. This has been your transformation coach, Samuel Ivanda. And I want to invite you to my Facebook group called Business and Career Solutions Hub Africa. This is a platform where I share insights around life, business, and career. So if you want to develop and grow and transform yourself in these areas, then you should be part of this. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye-bye.